name's Al Ackerman and welcome to my channel. If you like card magic, make sure you click on subscribe. Now today I'm going to be doing a sandwich routine and typically this routine uh, only found one selected card. I've extended the routine so it can find four selected cards. I often do this routine right before I do the collectors so I call this routine the prelude. Let's take a look. Sandy. Hi. Let's shuffle up the cards. Each of us are going to use four of a kind today. Or each get four cards. I'm going to use the four aces. Your four cards can be anything. All right, so let me run through this deck. I'm going to pull out our four aces here. And uh, what I want you to do is you can select any club, any heart, any spade, any diamonds. And you can just use random cards if you want. If you want to make it easier on yourself, you could go for with like a run, like a two, three, four, five, all right? Want to be suit. Or you could go four of a kind. All right, so let's run through these cards. And I want you to name any club that you see in there. I see an eight of clubs. Why don't right. use that one? Eight of clubs. Mm -hmm. All right. Then I need a heart. Okay, let's, you know what, let's do an eight of hearts. Eight of hearts, okay. Sure. Eight of hearts. Okay, there's eight of hearts. And then maybe an eight of diamonds. Okay, eight of diamonds. And then how about an eight of spades? And there's spades. the eight of spades, okay. All right, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off uh, some quarter size packets for each one of the your selections. And I'm going to just kind of bury that eight of clubs down here in uh, this quarter of the pack. I'm going to shuffle these cards up, losing your eight in the pack. Then we're going to take the eight of hearts and we're going to do the same procedure. We're going to shuffle this guy into this group. All right, so he gets shuffled up. And then there's the eight of spades and we're going to lose him down into a uh, in the pack somewhere. Give the cards a good mix. So we'll lose that guy down in the deck. And there's that eight of diamonds. And we're going to shuffle that guy into the pack somewhere. All right. So hopefully uh, we don't have any eights near the uh, top or hopefully none near the bottom. But they are literally lost in four different quarters in this pack. Now, here's what I'd like you to do with these four aces. I want you to start to randomly deal cards down. When you get the urge to stop the deal, throw the aces right there, put the deck right on top. But I want you to do this, not me. So start dealing the cards, one on top of the other. When you get the urge to stop the deal, stop the deal. Right there. Perfect. It did well. So you randomly placed four aces in a certain spot in this pack. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give these cards what's called a lace shuffle or interlace shuffle. Mixing them all up. Now we happen to have our four aces there in the center of the pack, but there's a card right next to each one of those aces. Right here. We've got a card next to each ace. And right next to that ace of diamonds, oh, we found the eight of diamonds. Oh right next to the ace of spades, we've got the eight of spades. Hmm. Right next to the ace of hearts, we've got the eight of hearts. And right next to that ace of clubs, there is your eight of clubs. Awesome. Did a good job. Yeah, that you did a good job. Thank you. Very good. Hey, if you like the effect, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy card magic, click on subscribe. Now, I came up with this routine back in 1972. That's 48 years ago. So, I've been doing this routine for a long time. What it is is an extension to that Elmsley Marlowe uh, Ferro sandwich effect uh, that I also fooled with and I extended it so you could do it with a thought of card instead of a selection. Well, on this one, I thought instead of finding one selected card, we could make it a lot better if it could find four selected cards. I actually put this in print a couple years back in a set of lecture notes called Card Theater. And it was called Prelude. 
because I often do it right before I do the collectors and I use the same cards that were selected to be used in the collectors routine. Hope you enjoyed the effect. My name's Al Ackerman and I'll see you next time.